Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel, Julia McNeil Crafts. So today we're on take five again. So it's, it's actually take five tomorrow and I'm recording this at last minute. <laughs> okay, so the five prompts that we've got is one, to make some marks with something that's not an art supply, to use coloured pencils, to use an image from a magazine, sprays and purple. So I have pulled out this image here from this art and design book magazine in there. So that's the image I thought I would work with. It's funny, when I first saw the prompts, I had this image of, you know, getting like a really glamorous lady and then um, having flowers that I'd stamped in her hair that had been coloured with coloured pencils. And then I just didn't find an image I like, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Oops. I'm just going to play and see what happens and hopefully we will <laughs> hopefully we will have something. I'm going to tear that. Right, so I'm back in my book here, um, which I used yesterday. Um, it's a nice size, I like it. Now unfortunately it's quite glossy paper and there is a bit of a reflection back in the camera, but I'm hoping once I put some mediums <laughs> And stuff on it will be a little bit less glary. So I've also got some notepaper. This is meant to be like a photo shoot of like Marie Antoinette. So this is some sort of book that's written in French. So we've got a bit of French writing so I thought that might be quite interesting. And yeah I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just basically stuff down and seeing what happens and then because we have the element of purple I had found these bits of purple paper in my scrap so I think what I might do same as yesterday I might actually just pop you on fast forward as I glue all these bits and bobs down <music> So that's me glued some bits and bobs down. I'm just taking some clear gesso now and I'm going to put this over the top of this image here. I want to add a little bit of purple detail to the image but it's on glossy paper because it's come from a magazine and so I'm, I could alter it with my alcohol inks but obviously because pencils is one of the prompts um, I want to do it with my pencils and I'm not going to manage to do that without a tooth. So I'm just putting a good bit of clear gesso over that. Now I mentioned yesterday as well but I didn't show it because I was on fast forward for most of the video that when you've got lots of stuff like this it does look a little bit like a hot mess. Right now it does look like I've ripped a whole load of magazines and paper and just randomly stuck it down and it doesn't look like one cohesive piece. So we can bring that together using um, like gesso and colour. So what I will be doing is like where bits meet, this is where I will be putting a little bit of a little bit of the the whiter gesso. Just and it just kind of marries marries the bits together so that they look like one. So it's just a good little tip. I'll probably come into some of the pictures as well, but it just kind of brings it all together. You, oh, I've got a squeaky chair there. You can um, still see all the elements, you can still see the layers, and you've still got the impact of the various bits and pieces, but it's just all brought together a little bit. So I'm going to add a bit of gesso. I'm going to do a bit more of that in a minute because I want to stick to some so it's not, I'm not completely getting rid of the purple and things, um, it's just sort of marrying it together. So as I said, where there's a hard edge, that is where I would choose to put a brush stroke of uh, gesso. It's not just that I'm, well I am randomly doing it to an extent, but um, I'm randomly doing it but with the purpose of uh, <laughs> bringing it to, together. So there's certain points where I know that there will be stuff going. I'm just whiting that out a little bit as well. So already that just looks a bit, it still looks a bit of a hot mess to be honest, but it just looks a bit more, it's kind of gradually coming together. 
Okay. So I had got these little bits of die cuts um, that I was thinking that I would stick on and frame and then now I'm wondering whether I should make them silver first but no I'm going to stick with the original plan and glue it down. I can always colour it once it's um, down there so um, I just because as I said I am pretty much being a last minute Annie as all but actually today I was supposed to have the entire day for filming. And so I was quite calm that even though it was the last day, I had all day, other than a half hour Facebook Live that I'd committed to, um, I was thinking I've got all day, so it's not a problem. And then I ended up running an errand for somebody, and then I'd forgotten to take their house key with me. So I went and dropped off, went to drop off the stuff at the house that I said that I would and then realised I didn't have the key and the trouble is it's about a 15-20 minute drive there so then I had to drive back home get the key and go back again <laughs> so that took me a little bit longer than I anticipated and then I had um, somebody pop in so and then it was my daughter's dance class tonight and it's taken her forever to go off to bed, so. But the house is quiet now, and I'm getting to play. Okay, so I'm just putting these bits on. This will all sort of become a lot more noticeable once we start putting a bit of colour on and bringing it to life. Now, I'm wanting to go fairly monochrome with this. Um, I kind of want it, because the image is black and white, I think we'll kind of sort of stick with that black and white but have touches of purple. Yeah, I was wanting texture in it, but because I don't really have time to allow texture paste and stuff to dry, I'm going to do it with die cuts instead. Right, I'm just going to let that dry and I'll be back when I'm on to the next bit. Okay, so while I was waiting for um, the gesso to dry, I found this image that it was already stamped and die cut and I've just coloured the flowers in purple and things and then for my spray I have got one that I've mixed myself um, with the indigo blue um, porcelain luscious powder and some water so it's nice and delicate but it gives it a really nice pearlized sheen so I'm just that's me use my spray I'll probably what I'm going to do as well is when I start moving the color I'm going to use this the pearlized spray rather than my normal water bottle so I will be using the spray again so I'm going to try and add a bit of colour so I've got my Echolina because that's apparently how you pronounce it pens so I'm just going to dot some of the purple colours around here and then we will get them moving with a bit of this spray and see what happens with that. Mm. That looks nice. The fact that there's that pearlized part of the in the water is as well as just giving it a really nice um, glow. Let's put some of this up here as well. As I said, I'm trying to keep the colours quite delicate just because I think it suits the, the picture. Just adding a bit more colour in there because it kind of stained the paper a little bit. I like it, I like it. Right. Sorry, this is very similar techniques to what I did yesterday, so I hope you liked what I did yesterday. <laughs> Completely different results though, so it shows you just do your just do your own thing right put a bit more of that color in there so that's me use my purple and my spray and my magazine I'm going to mop up some of this I think um, where's my cloth Ooh. yeah I don't want purple in her face thank you very much I'll just take some of that there. Maybe we should have protected that side of the page as well. Okay, so 
Oops. I'm going to let some of that dry. I might just blatter that with a heat gun again. Okay, so now it comes to making marks with a non-art tool. I have got some lace here and I am thinking that what I might try and do is paint through the lace. <laughs> Originally in my head I was going to do swirls with the fork, but um, the fork's downstairs now. So I think this might still count. <laughs> So I'm just going to brush a bit of this silver paint onto this lace. And hopefully oh yeah, we've made some sort of pattern there. I tell you, last month we all had to do it in 15 minutes. I think I probably spent that full amount of time just collaging the background <laughs> this time. <laughs> Okay, so that's me making my marks with my non-art tool. I'm using using the lace as my non-art tool, and I think we've lost a bit of the um, gesso up there. So I think I am going to put some up there as well. Okay, right. Um, so I've just got this gelato out. I'm not sure if I'm going to completely wreck things now. Is your finger a non-art tool? I suppose that depends what circles you're in, doesn't it? <laughs> Technically, no, it's not. But I think we all probably use our finger more than anything else. Okay. It's brightened it up a little bit. I might put some... More silver, oh yes. It's looking very luxurious. Okay. I think I've got my screen too bright or something. Because I'm seeing loads of colours and textures and stuff. And then when I glance down at the camera, it just looks quite white. I'll have to contemplate that. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually just taking the silver paint and going around the edge of the page to give it a bit of a frame. Oops. Because it's just needing the eye brought in. So I'm doing this this time with silver paint. This is a pebble silver paint. I've got a big tube of it somewhere but I seem to have miraculously lost it. made a bit of a silver frame. I might go around that with my black marker once that's dried a bit just to completely finish that off. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to let that dry and have a think. Okay, I've tried altering the brightness to see if you can see a bit better. See what I'm seeing a bit better. But I don't know. Right, I've popped my little die cut down um, and, but I'm just wanting to white out inside the door just so it looks a bit better. So I'm just going to wipe that part out there. I just think it'll make a bit more sense if we do that. Okay. Now I need to grab my purple pencils and what I was just going to do was oh, colour over these flowers. It's a slightly paler purple in purple. So that clear gesso really has worked because I've got a fantastic tooth there. It's going down really, really well. So just the flowers that are in their hair, I am using a pencil to sort of bring that Okay, out. I've grabbed my Distress Crayon. This was, it would have been nice if I'd had a Distress Crayon and a, and a dark purple, but I don't. Um, this is probably about the best I've got, and all my gelat the gelatos I have are bright gelatos. But it's j I don't know. It's just the frame is just needing. It's just needing something, so I'm giving it a bit of definition with that. I thought I was convinced I had a stamp that said "Let them eat cake," 
but I don't appear to. I've had a look where I thought it would be and it's not there. So I kind of have that sentiment in my head now. I'll have to see if I can manage to create it some other way. Okay, so we've got a bit of a that going on there. I think that's definitely brought the eye in a little bit. Okay, I really don't know what it is, but I'm just not happy with this page at all. I am not feeling it. Um, I've got I, my ink tense pencils. I'm going to try edging the collage that I did earlier with that, see if that brings it together. It's in violet. It is a bit of a time consuming process, so I'm just going to pop you on fast forward. <music> this page is turning out to be a mission. Um, I'm not loving it. <laughs> um, I don't hate it as much as I did before. I think the colouring has given it a bit of definition. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep. I mean I do sort of have this thing that you just keep going till you are happy. Um, so I'm going to try but I've not got endless amounts of time so I'm just um, I've got a Carabelle stamp here, it's a script stamp, stamp and I have got the Jane Davenport Black Squid Ink because it's a hybrid so it should go over the various textures that I've put down. Okay, I'm just wondering if that, yeah that's kind of given it a bit more interest. Okay, uh, it's getting there, it's getting there. Let's try putting a sentiment on it. Okay, so I've got Tim Holtz saying I have really struggled with this page. Um, as I said, um, it's not my favourite. I don't hate it as much as I did earlier, uh, but I'm not overly in love with it either. <laughs> Definitely a challenge. That is one thing that is really good about the Take 5 class. It gets you out of your comfort zone. Um, so I've put... Um, the journey is the destination um, and I might put documented because this is this has been a learning curve and a journey and that is what an art journal is about isn't it it's not always about producing the most beautiful artwork it's about learning it's about taking time out for yourself um, so yeah and believe in yourself. I just do like a sentiment, I sort of think it just brings it together a little bit. Okay, I've also lost my thing for black splashes, I lost that weeks ago. <laughs> right, this was my mop up. Maybe we need to make that slightly bigger. But I do have my black um, Distress Ink, which is also a spray, even though I'm not using it as a spray just now. <laughs> I'm using it as a splatterer. Is that a thing? <laughs> okay. Let's hope a few black splashes have helped to improve the situation. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to double check that I have fulfilled all the prompts. I'm pretty sure I have, but we'll just check that anyway. I'm trying to remember not to, I think last time I did it, it took me ages because I kept forgetting that I was uh, showing my password on my phone every two seconds. Okay, make marks with something that's not an art supply. We did that with the um, lace, use colouring pencils. I've done that. I've used an image from a magazine, we used the spray and there is purple. So there you go, that is my Take 5 um, art journal page for me. It's uh, very different, I have never created an art journal page like this before. So 
yes it's been it's been fun <laughs> please do check out what all the other girls have done it's an amazing team i still am pinching myself that i'm on it um so please do have a look and also you can join us and you can be added to kyra's playlist which um so if you use hashtag take five art then we can all see that what you've done so thank you very much for bearing with me today as I try to put this together. I'll be back again very soon. If you have enjoyed it here, please do consider liking and subscribing. Okay, see you again. Bye.